Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney and I hope this video finds you well. So today we're going to be talking about how to stop absorbing other people's energies and emotions. I'm going to get into why this is important and give you guys some of my personal tips that have been helping me with this. And so yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section if you have any tips that I might have missed. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's just jump into it. So I've already talked about highly sensitive people on my channel before. But so if you are a highly sensitive person or if you are um, what we call an empath, this is very difficult for you and I know that this is super difficult for me. I have a hard time not absorbing people's energies and emotions when I'm with them. So if they're sad, I'm sad. If they're annoyed, I'm annoyed and whatever. And so this is really difficult because obviously you start to change how you feel and you can start to lose sight of what's important to you and of your own energies and your own emotions because you can easily pick up on other people's. So for example, let's talk about frequency. If I am an empath or a highly sensitive person and I'm trying to be happy and I'm trying to be up here in this high vibrating frequency, but the people I hang around are over here, I'm obviously going to fall down here as well. And so that basically is the problem that, you know, we're all humans and we're all gonna have bad days and we're all gonna have things that we need to work on. And so not only am I having my own bad days and things that I need to work on, but I am, changing depending on the situation the circumstance the person the problem the issue like all of these things that are outside of myself and so it can just be really really difficult and really hard to manage and so the reason why i feel like this can be a bad thing is because we feel everything so intensely and we also just live in our heads so we can just be thinking about a situation for so long and it might not even be a big deal or it might not even be our situation or our problem in general so there have been things that I have held on to for so long where I wish I could just let it go like if it's not my problem or whatever the case is so I hope that this video encourages you guys and let's just jump into the tips so my first tip is gonna be to get grounded and you can do this through a number of different ways, through meditation, through visualization, um, through prayer, whatever the case is. But I suggest doing this first thing in the morning because it really does set the tone for your day. When I think of getting grounded, I think of a tree, right? A tree is grounded, it is planted in the dirt, and it is not going anywhere. It's standing firm in itself. And so I like to think about me as the tree just being grounded um, not letting anything shake me not letting anything change me or affect me my second tip is going to be to identify what feels right to you and the reason why this is so important is because sometimes we really can't distinguish if our thoughts are our own if they are someone else's if they are a mix of ours and someone else's so it's just really important to try and distinguish what thoughts are truly yours and what feels true and right for you and so what i like to do is to remind myself to raise my awareness so that i can identify what is coming from me and what is not and you will know um, if it feels right for you through your spirit you know your intuition and different things like that my third tip is going to be to protect your energy i used to hear this a lot and not really know what it meant exactly it basically just means don't just give anyone the power to change your mood your vibration your frequency or whatever think of it like an invitation if i don't give you an invitation to do this then you are not allowed to do this to me so remember don't allow people to enter your space without an invitation, especially if they're negative and they're fun suckers. Yeah. 
<laughs> my fourth tip is to remember that you can't please everyone. I think a lot of the time when you are an empath, you try and take responsibility for other people, how they feel, what they're going through, um, how you can fix it, and just so much stuff. So remember, it is not your responsibility or your burden to carry other people's emotional distress. And my fifth and last tip is going to be make sure you let go of the need to be validated. I think that this one is super important and a lot of empaths and just people in general struggle with this. I think in our generation, we are always looking for outside validation when it is just so important for us to validate ourselves, our own ideas, our own opinions, and to just start living for ourselves. I think when we do that, we won't have time to let other people's opinions, emotions, energies, whatever, take precedent of our own. So just focus on yourself and allow yourself to be all that is you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful, encouraging, and I will see you guys soon. I love you. Take care and God bless. Bye. Ooh, that never gets old.